What do you do when somebody tells you you can't do that? What makes you think you can do that? Nobody can do that. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. Thank you for coming to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what's a metaphysical ministry anyway? Well, it's your religion and spirituality. They're two very different things. You can be very religious, but not at all spiritual. And you can be deeply spiritual and not believe, subscribe to, or join or follow any religion. See, metaphysics describes the whole full dimensions of reality. And you know what? It's way more than what we can experience with just our five senses. In fact, it's more than 99% of what we hear, see, taste, touch, or smell. In order to experience more of what is there, we need to allow ourselves to be free to just let the universe bring something to us. It's like, I don't know exactly how to say it. It's like I remember reading this really cool book or a story about Flatland where all the people existed in only two dimensions, right? Like a square. You have a length and you width. And all of a sudden, here comes bouncing along height. And you have a third dimension. And for the people in Flatland who are two-dimensional, they cannot begin to understand what the heck is this three-dimensional thing. And if it takes me up, I'm like, whoa, this isn't making sense to me. Well, that's what happens when you allow yourself to let the universe show you beyond your five senses, beyond your physical senses. Or you begin every week with a happy share. And it's something that leaves you feeling happy and good. And my happy share this week is, you know what, I'm really grateful that I'm shooting this video right now. Because if you've been following me and you've been noticing, I had a stronger voice two months ago. And I kind of lost it. Because something new happened to my body that I don't really know what it was. When I went east and I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm having to learn to talk again. I'm getting there a little slower than I'd like to, but getting there. I got the night right here, that's why you think. Anyway, I'm grateful that I have enough energy in this moment because, frankly, I'm spending most of my time sleeping because you can only heal when you sleep. Now, what I was talking about earlier today what do you do when somebody tells you that you can't do something? Well, what I used to do was just to prove them wrong, I'd go ahead and accomplish it. And then one day I caught myself thinking, I don't really care about doing this thing that they're telling me I can't do. Forget it. Let it be. And then one day I heard myself say, I can't do that. And I thought, what do you mean I can't do that? This is something I want to do. I'm doing it for me. I can do it. In fact, if I think I can't, then I must do it. So, what I'm doing, I change the wording, because I don't like words like must or have to or should. So I change the wording now to empower myself so that I know if there's something that I initially think, I can't do that. Instead, I know if I think I can't, then I choose to do it. Because everything in life is a choice. Remember the words of Henry Ford, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For is seeing somebody live in a reality that they've asked us to see them live. It's not yet manifested into their world. There's something they want. So there's something you want. I can't do this for somebody else. Something you want. Maybe you want a new and different place to live, or maybe a bike that works better, or a car that you can depend on. Maybe you want beautiful weather that's not quite so hot and muggy, or maybe you want cooler weather, 
Or maybe you want me. I don't know what you want. But if you tell us down there, it'll appear up there. You know what you do is you come back at least once a week. You read every name on the list. I want the person to ask for it. You don't have to know who the people are. The universe does. And it's the universe who fulfills on our every request. See, when you're putting out your request, you got a thought form that's maybe that big. But what happens if you have five other, ten other, a hundred, a thousand other people seeing you in that same reality? That form's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the universe will see it sooner or bring it to you sooner. And always in the time that's in your highest and best interest. So go ahead, let us know what you'd like us to hold the space for you living as part of your reality. If you haven't done so already, go on over there. If you leave your email along with your name, I'll send you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Journey. I really appreciate it if you please click like and share. And you know what also? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this. What do you do when somebody tells you, you can't do that? How do you feel? And what action do you take when you hear yourself saying, I can't do it? See, what you want to know is who you need to become so you can take actions you've never taken before. And then you can have the thing that you or somebody else is telling you, you can't. I wish you a week full of awareness of the things you want. You didn't really want, not because somebody else is challenging you. And many, many blessings. Something's not missing there. Here, taste, touch, see. <laughs>